In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to pair the app with a PM5 monitor on the Concept2. It only works with a PM5 monitor. Um, if your PM5 monitor is older than late 2016, then you're going to have access to the force curve uh, on it. Um, if it's if it's not if it's before or late 2016, there's no access to the force curve, but you've probably got the Bluetooth, which does a lot of everything else. So just know that the chipset changed at the end of 2016. So if you're not seeing a force curve when you connect this to the PM5, that is why. Um, so if I go ahead and hit start training, you'll see there's two options here, offline training and training with a remote coach. For this video, I'm just going to do offline training. Training with a remote coach would be if you're working with a coach in remotely and you want to transmit your PM5 data through the cloud so that coach can look at that data while they coach you on Zoom or something like that. But for right now, I'm going to click offline training. So if I click that, it's now asking uh, to uh, pair with the PM5. So I'm turning on the PM5 that I've got right here and I'm enabling the wireless on it, and there's that um, ID number of my PM5. When I press that on the screen, it'll start to sync with the PM5. It takes a few seconds uh, for it to sync with the PM5. Um, and, and now, when the screen becomes light again, it's ready to go, it's synced all up, uh, and you can row along uh, on that machine, record your data, uh, and then once you've recorded the data um, and you've finished with it, uh, you can go ahead and hit the stop button in the top left and hit stop. Make sure you do that and then hit stop workout. And that's going to record everything that you've done. Obviously, I didn't do any rowing on it, but you get the idea. And that now gets saved in the training data. And you're going to find that data in the training data right there. Obviously, I didn't do anything. Um, but you get the idea, you'll see it, uh, for example, that, that 1200 meter piece that I, that I, I, I rode uh, a few minutes ago, um, that's going to be there. So this is where all your training data is going to be stored and then uploading it to the, the, the Coach Bergamoth uh, training management system is clicking on the button in the row of the training data you want to upload. And then let's say I wanted to upload into the 40 minute steady state. I would click on that. Yes, that is what I want to upload that training data into. And then I hit upload. Probably wouldn't do anything because, um, oh, I actually did. It didn't have any strokes, but there it went. So now I've got nothing in that training, but you get the idea. That is the flow for getting training data over to my system so that I can review it and you can track it as you go. So. Hopefully that's helpful and um, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.